Have you ever noticed that many black superheroes have electricity powers? From Black Lightning to his daughter Lightning to Static Shock to Storm and her son with the Black Panther Azari to Ultimate Spider-Man Miles Morales to Black Vulcan to Bishop to Spectrum Monica Rambeau and her daughter Blacklight. All of these black superheroes have some power over electricity or electromagnetic radiation. Let us not forget Jamie Foxx's portrayal of the Spider-Man villain, Electro, or even some lesser known characters like Thunderfall, Soul Power, and Juice all have power over electricity also. In the comic book world, black characters with power over electricity has become so commonplace that it is almost a stereotype. In fact, in the fifth issue of the comic book, Irredeemable, a black superhero named Volt apprehends a kidnapper, and then sarcastically says, Surprise, I'm a black superhero with electrical powers. However, since the vast majority of the aforementioned, most popular black superhero characters, were created by white men, we have to ask the question, why do these comic book creators portray so many black characters as superhuman, having control of the energies and forces of nature, such as electricity, lightning, and electromagnetism. One explanation for the reason why there are so many black superhumans with electrokinesis in the comic books is because there is an idea that black people are inherently closer to understanding and controlling the forces of nature, and electricity, or lightning, is seen as one of the most powerful forces of nature, so creating a black character with electricity powers is just an extension of an already preconceived notion. However, Another explanation for the reason why so many black superheroes are created with powers over electricity is because perhaps it is symbolic for the power of the melanin in the skins of black people. Melanin is a carbon-based molecule that is the cause of the pigment color of skin, eyes and hair. Darker skinned people have higher amounts of melanin. Organic electronics is a branch of electronics that deals with conductive carbon-based molecules. This is opposed to traditional electronics, which rely on inorganic conductors such as copper or silicon. Electrically conductive polymers are mostly derivatives of the simplest melanin, called polyacetylene black. Technically, all melanin is derived from polyacetylene. In melanin, both electrons and ions play important roles. In 1963, it was shown experimentally that high electrical conductivity could be generated in a melanin iodine doped and oxidized polypyrrole black. A paper published in the 1972 Journal of Science proposed a model for electronic conduction in melanin. Structurally and electronically, melanin serves as a rich source of conductive polymers composed of polyacetylene black, polypyrrole black, and polyaniline black, and their mixed copolymers. In 1973, a highly conductive electrical device made with dopamelanin emitted a flash of light, electroluminescence, when it was switched on. In the year 2000, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to three scientists for their discovery and development of electrically conductive melanin. The application of the electrically conductive property of melanin is being used in the field of bioelectronic devices, such as medical sensors and tissue stimulation treatments. A study published in the National Academy of Sciences points to a new way of interfacing conventional electronics to biological systems using a combination of ion and electron, conducting biomaterials such as melanin. Melanin is able to talk to both electronic and ionic control circuitry. Organic conductors and semiconductors like melanin are widely viewed as having enormous potential in the area of medical sensors and bioelectronic devices for stimulating or repairing the signal-carrying pathways in tissues, such as muscle or brain. So while fictional black superheroes with powers over electricity is common, the reality is that the melanin in the skin of black people is electrically conductive. In this case, the truth is stranger than fiction, and will shock you.